Hello everyone, this is lesson three for Task Warrior. In this lesson we're going to cover linking tasks together, so tasks are dependent on each other, and then setting projects, so projects are like bigger buckets. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is do a quick task list, see what tasks we have available. Task one, we can see we have buy milk. For task three, we have bake a cake. Control L clears the screen, we we'll put task three back up on the screen again. To give task three a high priority, we're going to do task three, modify, priority, colon, H, and hit enter. If we pull up task three again, we can see there is now a priority value of H or high, and that H is tied to an urgency score that gets tallied up as different values are applied to the task. So let's pull up our task list again. We can see urgency level of six for baking cake, but in order to do so, we have to buy milk and buy eggs. Those are dependencies for getting the task baking cake done. So we're gonna link buying eggs to this baking cake task that we have. So what we're gonna type is task, task three, and we wanna modify it, modify, and we're gonna say it depends, task three mod is depending on task two. So now if we pull up the task list, we can see that buying eggs has an urgency score in relation to baking the cake. So let's apply the same principle to buying milk. We do task three modify depends on one. If we do a task list, we can now see buy milk has an urgency value, buy eggs has an urgency value, and it's important to get those done before baking a cake. So let's take a look at what these tasks look like behind the scenes in Nano. So if we edit task one, this is buy milk. This task has no dependencies. So nothing's gonna show up in the dependency line. But if we open up task number three, we can scroll down to the dependency lines and there you can see that this task, bake a cake, depends on tasks two and tasks one to be completed. So let's clear the screen and let's pull up the task list again. Now, let's talk about projects. Projects allow you to organize tasks into essentially bigger buckets. To put a task in a project, you type task, then the task ID number. We're gonna modify it again. We're gonna say project colon, then we're gonna give it a project name. In this case, maybe this cake is for a party. I'm gonna use all lowercase, so under lowercase party. So now if I list my tasks, you can see there's a new column here, the project column. We can also see there's a priority H that we gave it earlier, and it also has a D for dependency. Now let's put buy milk and buy eggs into its own project. So we're gonna do task one, and we're also gonna do space two. So we're gonna do task one, two simultaneously, modify, project, colon, and this one's gonna be grocery shopping. Maybe we need to put together a grocery list. We hit enter. And we've modified both tasks at the same time. If we pull up our tasks list again, we can see that buy eggs and buy milk is in the grocery project and bake cake is in the party project. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson on linking tasks and creating projects. Lesson four, the next lesson, is gonna be a whole bunch of just miscellaneous commands, commands that I found useful, and hopefully you will too. So until then, we'll see you soon.